Hi everyone. Recruitment selection. We are going to uh, start this new lesson, recruitment selection. So it's very important lesson because it's one of the most important function of the human resource department. So if you are a human resource manager and if you are looking to work in the human resource, uh, like a, a personal division in organization in future, if you want to handle that organization anyway, I believe that every entrepreneur must have the skills of recruitment selection because one day if you become an entrepreneur or chairman or in a director level, you go to top management level. So you must be able to actually, you have to be there. Sometimes you might be invited by a human resource managing organization to come and sit in the interview panel for an interview. So interview process, it will be happen like that. So you have to select people. So selection is really important. It's an art. You have to select the best out of best because a lot of people uh, these days are uh, seeking jobs. So, uh, so it's your responsibility and you must have proper knowledge to identify and recruit a proper candidate to your organization. Because the selection, if you are doing, doing some, done some mistake, that will be a great uh, mistake for the entire organization because if you select a bad uh, candidate, then his productivity, efficiency, everything will be impact for the organization. Therefore, you have to find out what are the jobs available First of all, and why we need to recruit people and how we're going to do it. This lesson is really important. Very practical things are there. Practical aspects are there. Sometimes, you know, talk about the documents. We talk about the uh, different methods of recruitment, internal recruitment methods, external recruitment methods. There are positives and negatives and also the documents related to that job description, person specification, application form and the curriculum data or your bio data. So uh, this is really important. Uh, document for everyone who are watching this video also so this uh, before this go to the lesson which let's look at this case study it's a really good case study called Ankara Haulage Company called which we call it AHC AHC Ankara Haulage Company provides the distribution service and maintenance across the Turkey right this employee uh, the company owns about 130 vehicles and looking to recruit another 12 more drivers because this company provide transport pro provision so uh, look at this advertisement. They have some uh, advertised some of their jobs there. So they're looking for to recruit 12 more drivers and increase their capacity. The adverse in the figure shows the uh, first place in online advertisement designed to attract the HGV like a like a one driver. So Ankara College Company, they say we are an established company within 34 years trading history. That's, a com that's called the company description. Every, every advertisement, there are parts. Right, so uh, this is company description, and they say uh, they are going to expand, and then they need uh, award uh, of a new contract, and we now require twelve new drivers to help to meet that delivery commitments. So we can offer. This is they are giving the job description. How much they are going to pay? Sometimes every job they are not revealing their salary. They say they are giving attractive remuneration, but they uh, that can be discussed in the interview. But normally. Some companies are revealing the salary, but some companies are not revealing the salary. So then they they uh, they are giving like the TRY five hundred per week, which is currency name of the Turkish currency, and then uh, TRY thirty overnight payment, and also five weeks annual holiday with full pay. So five weeks you can take at a stretch like annual holiday, like a, that is like one month and one week. Uh, you can go somewhere, you can uh, go to another country, or you can travel abroad. You can visit some state like this is a good five week holiday for a year and then uh, company pension scheme is there on companies private private company but there's a pension scheme and life cover insurance because yeah as a driver you must have a life cover and also uh uh sat and navy fitted as standard that means sat satellite navigation is fitted as standard so every com every satellite navigation is a basic based basic right now like normally every organ every uh, can you uh Sorry, every uh, vehicle nowadays we have this facility especially for the like uh, drivers who have trucks and everything they have this equipped always to find the roads and everything so we require experience class one hgv driver you must be prepared to travel overseas work weekends right one in every three right uh, stay out three nights in five right uh, speak some english and preferably have some forklift truck driving experiences. Please contact, uh, they, then some responsible person is there, the HR director on some telephone number. So it's a, a small advertising advertisement they are making. So I'll, I'll show you another ex uh, example from uh, 
this the advertisement I, I, I have taken as example. So this is the uh, advertisement placed on uh, some website called Top Jobs. So here you can see the screen. Uh, in this ad advertisement, they uh, wanted to have some kind of a uh, accountant. They are recruiting the company. You can see the company name: Bright Babies Private Limited and Colombo Seven and Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan flag. So closing date of the advertisement is on this February first, two thousand twenty-one. So still we have time. So uh, accountant, the post is there. Bright Babies Private Limited. So first of all, they have given the company description. Bright Babies Private Limited is a company specializing in retail distribution and brand mother and baby care. Children's toys and educational products is looking to motivate individuals to work independently and efficiently. This role will give the chosen candidate excellent range of experience. Right, so that's giving us some small description about the company. And here we go, the description, job description is there of the candidate. So it describes the job as accountant. If you hired, these are the responsibilities you have to do. You have to prepare the monthly accounts and financial statements, maintenance of stock record, planning and supervision of stock takes, bank reconciliation, you have to do bank recs, and preparation of the salaries, EPF, ETF payments, taxation and other statutory payments, you have to do tax, uh, you know, tax, you have to fill in the tax forms, uh, and monitoring the debtors, preparation of age analysis of the collections. Sometimes you have to do some uh, credit sales also. So you have to manage that part also as accountant. And preparement of the budgets, accounting reports and payments, like uh, follow up, you know, monthly budget, sometimes uh, annual budgets, accounting reports with the management, and import files, maintenance and costings. So uh, like uh, costing part also to do some part of the small costing part and the preparation of the cash flow forecasting and working capital management so this is the basic uh, rules and regulations rules and the main duties performed by a typical accountant in any of job and this is the person specification job description ps person specification what kind of person they are looking at what are the uh, qualifications experience skills and attitude they are looking from the accountant so a qualification you can see part qualified in double AT, ACCA, CIMA, ICASL, or equivalent. These are the accounting qualification, internationally recognized accounting qualifications. You can see AAT stand for Association of Accounting Technicians, and ACCA stand for Association of uh, Certified Chartered Accountants. CIMA start, stand for Certi Certified Institute of Management Accountant. ICASL stand for Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka. Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka. So these are the internationally recognized accounting professional qualification that you can have, uh, right? And someone looking to actually pursue his studies on in commerce and accounting. So you have to do one of this uh, qualification you have to obtain in order to work in the field. So and expecting experience level, three to five years experience in a similar role as accountant three year to five year experience, in the similar role, and also exposure to accounting packages, including the sound knowledge of the QuickBook. It's a software normally using the accounting called QuickBook, QB package. So there are other packages as well. In uh, accounting, you might learn that packages. So the sound knowledge of the, because a lot of organizations nowadays, they're using the software systems in accounting. So they are using a simple software called QuickBook. And other commitment, the attitudes and everything they are giving, must person must be hardworking, flexible, able to independently manage day-to-day -day activities and manage counting staff. So you might be have some kind of additional like a extra like accounts class might be there, executives working under him. So experienced person expecting for this. So and then you other information, please send your CV to some information and this uh, email with the two non-related referees within 10 days. You can see the this is the organization, I think, coming under uh, Philips event. And then uh, this is like international, this is a toy brands. So uh, this is the company information. So mainly this is the uh, information normally they publish in a information, in a recruitment advertisement. So what is the purpose of that? For example, in this case, so this is one advertisement. This is the, they expect in drivers. So that the previous example I showed you, that's the, they wanted to uh, recruit uh, accountant. 
and look at this example case study the Karachi coating this was a painting company they recruit a lot of its managers internally this means they try to promote people who already work in the company so this is external recruitment example this is an internal recruitment example as a result the Uma Iqbal the human resource manager said that we have recruited internally for many years so there are some clear uh, sorry, some company have policies like that so recruit some person hire some person internally as a promotion or externally advantage for example promoting from within within the organization is safer we know what these people are like and their potential also and uh, then they are proven workers it is also cheaper and quicker to recruit in this way also so by looking at this example these questions they are asking what is the purpose of Ankara College company of this advertising so advertisement the purpose you know they wanted to actually attract application from the HGV drivers for driving vacancies at the uh, Ankara College company, right? So second one, what sort of person is the business trying to attract? So normally the Ankara College company is trying to attract experience like a class one uh, drivers, right? Drivers must be prepared to travel overseas and that's their specification they're expecting, I'm talking that. They must be able to, right? You can see that in that case study, you see that they must be able to prepare work for uh, weekends also like like one weekend in every three weeks and stay out like a three nights in like a five like that they give you some conditions also in the job because you know if you become like a driver like that you always you have to travel everywhere so sometimes night shifts are there sometimes you know do weekends have to work and their english knowledge is also important and third question asking how much they pay the company offer their application they say uh, the company like to pay them like a TR by the Turkish, uh, like 500 per week. So weekly salary they reveal and with extra 30 uh, for the night for staying out overnight. Every night they are getting extra 30 TR, right? So question number four asking, how does Karachi Coatings recruit many of its managers? In that case study, we talk about that their managers they, uh, internally they're going to hire. This means that uh, they try to promote people who have already worked in the company. And as you can see the last question to advantage of recruiting managers like uh, in Intel in this way you can see there are a lot of advantages you know so recruiting people from within the business for example like promoting within the firm is safer because people who are appointed are known by the business very familiar with them because they know who is this person what kind of capacity is this person like about the HR manager in this case for Mike Bar, he says that the, the we know what these people are like, no? And their potential is also. So they are proven workers. It is also cheaper and quicker to recruit in this way than other methods. So that's the main thing. I think it's a very good brainstorming session that you might get some idea what are the type of method that you can recruit internally and externally. Okay. We are moving on to, I think for the introduction part it is uh, very important. So we are going to types of employment. In organization guys, there are certain types of employment avail available like organization can have uh, like a full-time employees part-time employees uh, and also flexible workers and also zero hour contracts like little bit like you should know these terms what do you mean by full-time worker what is what is the meaning of the part-time worker like that so let's go to that discussion now type of employment because in organization there are different types of employees are working permanent workers temporary workers full-time workers part-time workers like that so everyone now is not in the same class. There are different class of vehicles are there. So that's important to know what kind of employee, what kind of types are there in organization for employment. Some workers prefer to work part-time, like two hours per day, three hours per day, because it suits for their lifestyle. For example, if you're a university student, right? So you might like to work as a part-time because you can't work full-time because of the lectures. And sometimes it is not allowed to, in some countries only you allowed to work like only 20 hours per week 20 hours or 25 hours per week therefore you can't work like a full-time worker so only you're allowed to work like two hours or maximum four hours per day for a particular day so that's uh, that's a legal matters so like that so the hourly day they pay you for that sometimes so we'll find out what's the difference between this full-time and part-time it's going to be very important for you everyone who watching this video it will be very important okay let's uh, look at this uh, when business takes the uh, workers, so it can choose between different types of employment, like small retailer may want to employ someone who can uh, like uh, work on a busy weekends because he can't do it, it uh, alone. And sometimes a farm manager may want to employ like 20 people for one month to help 
pick like a fruit during the harvest and large steel producer may need to recruit another 55 more people full time because the factory is expanding. The different types of employment are outlined below. You can see full time employment. Full time employment, this is where the business takes on an employee who is expected to work the full working week, usually five days. So, full time worker is a person who works five days per week, right? So, number of hours may be varying in different countries. Uh, some European Union full time workers are not expected to work for more than 48 hours per week. 48 hours per week. So you should understand that sometimes uh, some countries this is states is different, right? Sometimes uh, a full time worker should work 48 hours is comes like that. Let's say if you work eight hours per day, if you work for example like uh, eight hours per day, uh, let's say we are working eight hours per day and you multiply by uh, five times, right? Monday to Friday it comes 40 hours and then some organization. They are working in Saturdays as well. Saturday also you have to work. So then if you work like Saturdays also, then uh, additional eight hours you can count. Uh, so, but normally Sunday, normally uh, is a holiday for a lot of organizations because of the, uh, it's, a, it's a important thing for take a rest. Some organizations, so 48 hours is the uh, maximum. You can see some organization, they expected to work like this, 48 hours coming like that for European Union. They say, they say 48 hours per week. Full-time workers may be entitled to certain benefits of right in addition to pay, including the health and insurance. So another thing is you can see the full-time employees are, uh, they have to work like they have health and insurance and they have overtime pay also, they are entitled for that as well. Right? So you can understand the uh, organization have this thing, uh, they facilitate to all the benefits like we call perks. Uh, everything they are giving for the full-time workers only. But some organization, they sometimes they prefer to take the like a Saturdays uh, as a holiday. Sometimes they're working nine hours, like without working eight to five. Some people are working eight o'clock to six o'clock. Then every five days they are doing that shift. Then sometimes they are working like a Saturday half day. So like that, there are some, some particular arrangements are there, some organizations. Uh, so anyway, so 48 hours is the like a max for a full-time worker to work. And if you work more than 48 hours, that count as a overtime pay, right? Okay, then we are going to second part, the part-time employment. The part-time employment means the organization actually workers fewer than the full-time worker. There is a no specific number. Uh, there is no specific number for the uh, part-time worker, but usually we regard this as a, might be less than 30 hours, right? But it might be less than 30 hours, you can understand here, the 30 hours per week, less than 30 hours. So less than 30 hours in the sense we identify that as a normally if you work like for, a, as if you are a university student, 30 hours per week, they are telling that, that normally if you work like, you know, uh, you go to studies in Australia or UK, you know, the maximum 20 or 25 hours only you can work. If someone work like uh, four hours, hmm, four hours like after uh, college or something, and if you work like for maximum, let's say seven days, right? All that uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you work all seven hours in a week and then what happened, you can work like 28 hours only, they can count. That's why they say sometimes you can work like 30 hours. So sometimes it can be 20 hours or 25 hours in some states. It will be very from depending on country to country. But sometimes you can select, you are not, you are not working four hours, you're working like a two hour shifts. But usually all the uh, companies, they're providing like shifts, normally like a four hour shifts, like a small sh four hour shifts. That's easy for them to handle the workload. So uh, part-time employment is helpful to arrangement of the business. You can see because it's uh, the part-time workers give them some flexibility. That's the most important thing. The flexibility they have, this means that the workers can be employed for short, uh, short periods of time. Uh, so they can work for a short period of time. Uh, I know example weekends uh, when the business is busy, sometimes Saturday, Sunday, imagine like if it's a restaurant or something is very busy in the weekend, it might be also mean that the uh, that business can stay open for long hours, can stay open for long hours. Imagine like some of your workers, they don't like to work after six o'clock, but part-time workers, they like to uh, work to six o'clock. Imagine you, you want the, uh, the night shift, you work, want to work until 10 o'clock, six o'clock to 10 o'clock, so that's working hour. So you can give to part-time worker, 
who can come like you know small jobs like you know like uh, it can be a, a cashier job it can be a, a waiter job like that small small jobs are there like that part time courses are there and also part time workers are employed during the even the uh, evenings also perhaps part time work might be not suit certain employees also suit there some employees they because like university students like many students example cannot work full time because they committed to their studies so and parents may wish to work during the uh, sometime school days uh, like that they don't may uh, as a result of that we can see so sometimes their lifestyle is uh, like that so they wanted to work part time only okay the third type of employment we call in today is a job sharing basis job share job share is a level we call the minority of business provider opportunity for job sharing very few right so job sharing is a very uh, some uh, we are using it for any very limited jobs only very limited jobs this is where two part time workers share the work and pay as a single full time boss single full time boss so for example let's say uh, organization you have a let's say a security job so security job imagine you have to work 24/7 now you have to give the security so here uh, uh, morning shift you are starting like you know uh, evening with the 6 o'clock morning shift starting so that guy come into the work in the 6 o'clock in the morning and he works uh, until evening 6 o'clock so this is called the entire 12 hour shift right so that's called the morning shift and then uh, so that guy can actually go home at evening 6 o'clock his duty is over and then what happened the person who would take the night shifts coming at around 6 o'clock in the evening to take the job and that guy what happens take in the night shift at evening 6 o'clock and he actually wake up through all the night and then he works 6 uh, o'clock in the midnight 12 o'clock and then again uh, he wake up until evening uh, in the early morning 6 o'clock and next day early morning 6 o'clock again another the other person the, the day shift guy coming like that it's like a job rotation so you can see 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock so oh, uh, organizations are like that they sometimes uh, this is a 12 hour shift 12 hour shifts security jobs most of the secret jobs are like that and they can break down here like you know some like 9 o'clock or even 3 o'clock like that so you can shift can be uh, break down like that but normally organizations they uh, give that job sharing means organization they the one job they are sharing it to different people like a shift basis uh, so one one job they are usually splitting it to single full time post they are splitting by uh, like because one person can't work 24 hours no consecutively so continuously they can't do because there is some kind of break so that's why uh, 12 hours they sometimes they get paid, get paid on hourly basis uh, however the two type of people the two people share in the will have to work as a team interact effectively for business job sharing means that the ideas and enthusiasm of people rather than one and also they may also be better motivated and less stress since they have themselves chosen to reduce the amount of work they have to do okay and also these are main three types of the main points like as i told you the there are full time part time and job share and also there are some other types of uh, things as well so uh, you can see the organization uh, they are using this uh, uh, other types of training you can see the organization uh, they are using other types of training opportunities you can see organizations are using you can see the casual employment seasonal employment temporary employment let's look at that also uh, organization sometimes they call casual workers what is the meaning of casual worker casual sometimes we call smart casual uh, you don't need to come formal way but you know if you work like a if you come up with like a normal way like if you wear a t-shirt and denim that's called casual eh? in normally day to day life so what is casual means here casual employment means casual workers do not get any guaranteed work for their from their employer and their hours of work also are variable for the certain time some organization you can see uh, some organization the, the casual employment is very famous like like especially hospitality industry so you can get these people we call uh, the casual employment this we call like a uh, like temporary workers kind of a casualties they are mainly uh, the, their working hours are normally like a variable and uncertain uh, some people are they call on call duty on call duty like 
let's say for example let's say a doctor right you need a doctor but on call duty sometimes you need a gardener on call duty sometimes plumber uh, electrician we don't need the electrician full time sometimes there is a right you have to remove some kind of like a uh, uh, some some uh, plug not working some there's electrical repair here to do some plumbing or sometimes plumbing work electric electrical work some gardening job this kind of a job we call casual jobs and also we don't need permanent contract for them we can call them like even cleaning service of them some organization they uh, hire like people out of the organization like that like on call so sometimes this organization is very uh, cost uh, efficient cost effective to have a kind of a casual employment contract because the employer can ask them to work on in a short notice this provide a great deal of flexibility for businesses but casual workers may lack the commitment of their full time or part time colleagues right so casual work is often used in the hospitality industry where people are required to help that at a specific event such as in india like premier league ipl hmm? so this can be some like volunteer jobs sometimes we have a uh, let's say uh, sri lanka versus let's say uh, england there's a match going on and you can see during that time we need some kind of a staff for the ground ground maintenance so uh, we can call them okay you can come and work here but voluntarily so uh, we can give you t-shirts we can give you some uniforms and uh, like you know and why not uh, food everything and also free tickets to watch the game also so a lot of people might be come so sometimes because a lot of uh, you know cricket loving people are there all over the world right uh, so uh, sports loving people so casual employment is very important for them to like on call and then they will come many time and they will like to give their support for that organizing organization so event to be success other one is a seasonal employment thing it's another temporary thing some businesses need workers at particular times of the year like seasons special seasons are there in a in the every year you know like christmas season is very famous uh, work is regular and full time but short life uh you can see a ski resort may require a hotel worker in the winter a farm manager may need extra workers like extra drivers during the harvesting period in the or uk postal delivery workers may need a lot of people postmen may need before the christmas to help out with the heavy volume of cards and parcels i think because of the online thing because of the whatsapp and all that like a social media things i think the workload of the postmen has gone down those days we used to send cards and greeting cards seasonal greetings but the nowadays what happened no one actually using that thing because of the one thing is this covid thing and another one is uh, is very time consuming also because we have online and a lot of email like a uh, uh, electronic mediums are available uh, but anyway this is a good example typical example a classic example that you are using uh, seasonal employees during that time of the year and also it provide basis with the flexibility with since the uh, seasonal workers are laid off with the seasonal need season ends and the christmas season ends then they are terminate their contract uh, and also again the next season they can come and work it's like that some some people prefer seasonal work because they suits their lifestyle also it may also uh, appeal to people who like to travel also for example a hotel chef might work uh, in a parisian hotel during the busy summer holidays and they transfer to a hotel in the french ski resort during the busy winter period like that you can do that job rotation as well uh, seasonally you can actually wait in the hotel it should be by chain of hotel you can send the staff to the busiest hotel some areas are there the busy seasons you can send them to those areas so seasonal employment is very famous like that sometimes we need like a, during christmas season those we need like a lot of you know christmas sometimes santa ne, to promote the sales and everything sometimes we need some lot of people during uh, that season because shopping season to actually uh, so just watch and like you know control the queue and everything but uh, that's how it happen those days season staff members and the, the last part of this one is called the temporary employment temporary employment mean business need to take on staff for a short period of time to cover absent workers the so most important thing is guys here absentee some people may get absent it's like a shadow workers so anyway their work is actually up to until the worker return to the, the job 
so this is like situation we come like a temporary jobs are available sometimes imagine uh, cashier or receptionist might be taken a maternity leave or sometimes like a like a five weeks or one week off because of a personal thing so in that time to cover up that thing because we need to have we must have in organization a receptionist a cashier like some, some several jobs are really important to have always therefore we can have kind of a shadow worker during the absenteeism time of the permanent worker so such as those like sometimes people uh, asking like a maternity leave paternity leave we leave for a long time sickness sometimes ne? imagine uh, suddenly a uh, one person uh, like a uh, positive for the covid 19 and they can't report to work for they say i have to be self quarantine period for 14 days two weeks how they can manage uh, how they can manage the two weeks they can hire temporary employee to actually cover up that to uh, workload because otherwise you can't work from home is a option but you know during that you was hospitalized or something because of sickness you can't work from there so work is likely to be a full time but length of the contract may vary because of the until the person person return to the work the person has to work the shadow worker has to work so anyway the temporary work might be taken by the job seekers to earn some income while they took for a permanent post that's another thing uh, and also temporary post provided like a doorway into a permanent position sometimes uh, some organizations if the, the temporary workers performing really well if management is really satisfied with the temporary workers they might give an opportunity why don't you become a permanent worker we like to offer you a permanent position even now if the permanent employee comes back after the sick leave or vacation sometimes uh, this there's a chance of temporary worker can be established or can be fixed in the organization but it is actually it's a luck by chance so basically again to wrap up the lesson i'll explain again what are the things that we discussed today uh, we talk about the mainly the difference between uh, we have a very good brainstorming case study in the beginning about the how to recruit employee and what are the parts of a job advertisement we can recruit externally and we can recruit internally and also we talk about our today the main topics the different types of jobs we talk about the full time employees we talk about full time employees are only right european union standard is 40 Eight hours per week they have to work full time employees to be, and part time employees they say maximum like this will be depending it will vary but thirty hours per week is the normal standard for a part time worker because if you exceed more than thirty hours mean is working like a full time, and also other one is a job share we talk about the main the third one job sharing like full time position being shared between two workers and like a this like a team work I told you like a it's like a situation called like a. Uh, security guard they are doing that thing 12 hour no? 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock 12 hour shift their shift change over time period and then also a casual employee we talk about that the casual employees we need sometimes an organization to cover uh, some organization the needs casual workers in some situations like you know on call duty especially this kind of jobs like on call they can call doctors uh, plumbers electricians and repairmen and gardeners cleaning so many things right so many casual workers are there we can hire it is organization this is the advantage of having this thing is increase the flexibility of the organization so and the cost of the their salaries and wages also going down as a result of that and also we talk about the seasonal employees in particular seasons we can work like christmas season like busy times during the winter season uh during summer season some parts of the business actually some businesses become very busy special shopping season comes in the january and december so a lot of people need to recruit time to time that call we can have seasonal employees so until the end of the season when at the end of the season their contract will be terminated and they may have to keep them again we have to tell them to okay next next year we'll see you again on the next christmas season or something and also temporary workers we talk about the finally the temporary workers mean there is no such a contract like that so uh, they actually having worker working for a they are working for like a shadow worker for a absentee to cover the absentee person because of the sick leave because of the maternity leave because of the paternity leave sometimes mothers sometimes mother fathers also they having some holidays like you know paternity leaves are very common in uk and european countries like a two weeks holiday they give for the fathers uh, like a they have a new kid right anyway mothers maternity leave normally for three months paid leaves are there by the organizations like that these kind of things sometimes different different leave sick leave study leave paternity leave maternity leave like because of this thing temporary absentee 
to cover up that position, to cover up that post, we need to hire temporary workers. But temporary workers also, there's a chance of hiring. They can become permanent if they work very well. Management can, if they're satisfied by the management, they can go for a permanent position. So like that, that's all we discussed today. To, uh, to that, like that, we wrap. We are going to winding up our today's session with like that. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also, uh, this lesson is really important for your life. Actually, the most important thing is to understand the different types of the workers of the organization. So it will be really helpful to understand who am I? Am I a permanent worker? Am I a full-time worker or part-time worker or a seasonal worker or a temporary worker, right? It's up to you to decide that. Thing. Okay, then see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.